Have you ever wondered when they're seeing that if you eat a coin drip like tap coming from? Where is the evidence um, ab about that? Hi, this is Dr. Murak Jason. Thank you so much for joining us again. If you would have been with us uh, through uh, this uh, mini um, uh, video series that we're doing, exploring the subject of health, we, we talked about the health equation. We, we, we went into the different aspect and then we started delving into uh, the uh, debunking the myths about health. And today we're talking about this aspect, uh, the saying, this science or theory that you should eat according to your blood type. Now, eating the blood type, basically, it's, it, it is, um, it is, the book came out talking about eating for eating right for according to your blood type. It's uh, Dr. Um, Peter J. Dadamo, who, he, according to his theory, is that eating certain food, if you eat food, it does react chemically in your blood, and some food can actually cause more disease, what other food can actually improve your health. Now, to, when you think about this, basically, if you are that type O blood, you need to eat a lot of meat, high protein, and so on. If you are A, then you need to have avoid meat, to try to eat a meat-free diet, and so on. Type B, of course, avoid things like corn, lentils, tomato, peanuts, and sesame seeds. And if you are AB type of blood, you need to focus more on things like seafood, dairy food, and green leafy vegetables. Now, this, of course, I hear this everywhere where I go about um, this aspect. You know, my blood types are this, that's why I'm eating this. And, but when you look at this, it's actually lacking. In fact, what they did in 2013, there is an American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. They want us to, to, to find out what really this issue is. Now, what they did, it was a system, systemic review, where basically systemic review, we're taking all the studies, articles on this subject, and try to zoom out the really core truth. And this is the cause. The theory has never even been proven now at all. It's more someone who comes with a theory, and then people just go with it without checking where uh, the truth actually come from. Now, the, the result of the, uh, the study, they, they took about 1,415 articles on this subject. And what was found, it says that no of, none of the studies showed in any association between AB, blood type diet, and health-related outcome. And that's what they concluded, saying that there is currently no evidence that adherence to blood type diet will provide health benefits despite the substantial pre presence and perseverance of bloody type diet within health industry. It is a myth. And sometimes with this diet, you may be wondering, but what's harmful about trying to eat according to your health diet, I mean, your blood type? I think, I believe the reason why this actually carry on so long, it's often, you didn't necessarily cause any harm per se. There might be some improvement in health related to and this improvement in health is not because of your blood type you take on the blood type is actually despite because when you talk about this some of the things that are uh, to be avoided of course you avoid junk and sugary just avoiding donuts like type diet then it can improve your health but also can you imagine trying to restrict limit yourself in a certain blood type and you really have to be specific to find a certain food that according to your type you may not be able to afford a certain food while that it's really not necessary. It has been really, there has been no evidence uh, of such. In fact, they did, again, many studies in Norway. They also did more studies about this. They didn't find any evidence about this. In, in fact, they find all these studies talking about blood, blood type diet, division of science, or nonsense. And what they concluded, they actually contributed that to, it is rather nonsense. And of course, his response will be that no, it just uh, the scientists are not studying this because not money to that. But the argument on that is that he really managed to sell a lot of books. And in fact, as we speak, you tell me in the comment below if you would have bought that book and if you read it. He sold, he sold I think, more over 70 million copies of his, his book. Probably couldn't find the study uh, to really prove the, um, his theory. And actually, in his book, in 1996, writing his book, he didn't say that he was going to doing a study, eight year uh, to ten year trial in productive cancer using the blood type of diet. And he said that by that time, he was going to release that in about within two years. 
and that result never came out. And the reason is really obvious. There is really no science of telling what you eat based on your blood type. It may sound nice, there is really no science. And for me, it's the, the stress that one may have to go through to be able to meet that specific um, uh, diet that fits a uh, so-called blood type. So, in the comment below, have you heard of this, this diet? Have you tried to eat according to your blood type? If so, let us know. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in next video.